Alright, it's ready with everything. Water for you. Oh, that well, you brought water, but you know. Alright, so no table this time. That's okay. It'd be more like a relaxed, like, uh... You don't want to see yourself in the camera like the last time? Um, I guess we could. Let me just do that. Hold on. That way you can see when the, uh... When the light... Oh, true. You're right, you're right. We need a... I'm a pro. A producer, a camera guy. If you to be a camera guy... Someone, someone sent me a DM. You know what? No. No new friends. <laughs> no new friends. You know what I mean. Alright, so la this is podcast number two. Number two. Look at us go. We're making big strides in 2018. There's like five days left. That's insane. Today's the 28th. It moved fast. Less than that, three days left. Or that. Really, really fast. 2019 is going to be here, and guess what? Let's hope it doesn't suck. Dude, 2018 was going so well. Yeah, it was. And then my... <laughs> <laughs> Five months ago, it took a turn. <laughs> well, it's been five, five, five months. Now? Yeah, it's been way too long. It's been way too long. Um, projects are at a halt. Some projects. Yeah, we were going. We we're moving. <laughs> we're moving. Stop we, and everything. then somebody hit the brakes really, really hard, and then it's all right. We're here. We're here. But don't worry. They will get done eventually. 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 So, so podcast number two. We're talking about how much it costs. Well, how much estimated we've spent. On our cars, so a lot of people ask us, "How much does this cost? How much does that cost?" Or like, in total, what does it take to build a car? Some people we have, and it takes a lot of money. Now, granted, you could probably get it cheaper here and there at sometimes, or more expensive now as well because market prices have gone up quite a bit yes. on a lot of things, and things are much harder to find now than it was maybe four or five years ago. I mean, it's dried up a bunch. Um, a, lot, a lot of the bigger parts actually have gone down. So okay. now you can go straight to the source like we have that's friends true. overseas that's true that have the hookup and shipping it's not like you have to go through let's say uh orchid euro where you it's gonna cost you about this arm and this arm and this foot for a bumper when you can go to the guy and be like hey dude they're like twenty dollars over there can you just ship it over for another hundred dollars and then you have your yeah. bumpers and fenders so or this fenders. would be an overall estimated cost that we spent on our cars we're not gonna go through every single piece because Last video was an hour and 16 minutes, I think. We're gonna try to keep this one down to like 30 to 40. Right. Uh, more like condensed podcast, no like crazy tangents, but we still might, we'll try. Um, but we're not gonna do everything. Butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> we just don't have, I don't remember everything. We don't have enough time to go through every single no. part because there's hundreds of parts. Right. What we could do later on, time permitting, uh, a little bit more in-depth breakthrough on our cars individually, where it's not like, you have one car, and we're having both cars here, and then as you could, well, you probably can't see now, but it's dark outside, and it's only five, like four to it's one. only almost six o'clock, and it's pretty much black. pitch black. Yeah, so what I'll do right now, I'll put a picture of Greg's car on the screen here, and then I'll put a picture of my car on the screen here, back when it's, you know, it's together. Um, so, there's an idea of the car, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to your channel, subscribe to this channel as well for more podcasts and just car things later on. Um, but those are our cars. We put a lot of blood, 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 blood sweat, and tears we in these also things. Bled. We have blood. We put a lot of work, like out days, months, we'll probably years. We'll we years. put so much time into these cars, and it takes a lot of time. Oops. Side note. Sorry, tangent. A guy tagged me on a Facebook post said Brawl Mark threes, and someone posted a picture of a Cox GTI. And then someone and sub with the livery on it. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Sub comment was like, "Hey, Christian was looking for some of these pieces," and some guy's like, "Oh, I can source pieces." I was like, Shh. "Hey, man, what you got?" Uh -huh. So he can actually source pieces from somewhere. Uh, the kid I still want, still nearly impossible, but he has has some connections and knows a bit more about the cars and production. Right. So there's more that are made, and he's asking around, and he's gonna try and go right to the factory. Or something. I don't know. Something like that. He was saying so. Potential lead in the find those to my kid. I'm gonna leave it at that. That's right? the best lead you've had in I know in a while. Weeks. In a while, dude. It's that stuff's like I said, the only picture I have of that car is from a nineties magazine. That's it. There's no internet picture anywhere of that car. Is that's that's it. So You get more uh, hope than I do. I would have given up on that. I know, but it's just so cool. Yeah, but I, well listen, if I didn't have any pieces at all, there wouldn't be that hope there. But I got the spoilers, I'm like, ooh, okay. There's a chance we might be able to make this happen at true. some point. So yeah, Somebody I'm tells me like they made one body kit and then a pe like the spoiler went someplace. The bumpers probably were destroyed. A lot because because somebody was oh, like, yeah. Oh, this is the easiest thing to take off. Two screws and yank the thing off and yeah. it made its way over here. That's true. To where was it? California? 
Thailand. Uh, Thailand, you went to Thailand. Yeah. And then you mis magically found it. That was crazy. Luck is pretty basically what it is. Anyway, so we'll start on exterior. Exterior. Like body panels. Let's go pieces. front to back. And then we'll go to like suspension body. wheels. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. engine interior. interior. Yeah. Keep it kind of like broad. basic and broad. We don't want to try to go to every detail. I'm not going to tell you honestly, how much I pay for my door pins. <laughs> or like how much they cost. Because you can find so that. So let's start TV. with um, outside of the car. Uh... E codes from the front. E codes. If most people go with E codes just because they look cooler, you can get them smoked, and you have the city light function, which mm -hmm. is like a little bulb inside that you can turn on with your parts. It's the cool kid lights you drive around with them on. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. Um, averaging now they're getting harder and harder to find, dude. Used to be on eBay. Used to be on eBay. Time. Gone. You couldn't find a shop that wasn't selling a set. Now, very very slim. Talk about very them. slim. At that, at that price, I think I bought mine for $10. I got mine used from a friend um, for, I think, $120. Not bad. Which is not bad. Everything intact, no broken tabs. That's good. Was that everything including good. adapters and everything? Or that's... Mm. That's like... Yes. Yes? Yes. Say, I paid, I got mine Christmas 2017 or 2016. But I got them new. But they were at that time 160 on eBay, and then it was, I think, ten dollars for the little adapter brackets, mm -hmm. and then fifteen or twenty for the adapter connectors. Plugs, yeah. So all said and done, it's probably about a two hundred dollar setup when I got it. So we're two hundred dollars in for headlights. At least when I got mine. No, you know what? I'm completely wrong. I'm thinking about something else because I got them from. I forget his name. Anyway. It was 40 bucks, my bad. See, I have oh, a yeah. bad memory. That's a bad memory. And I, but I did have, the harnesses came, I did have to buy the adapter brackets, because mm. there were only two on his lights. I'm not sure how he had them mounted up mm. in his car, but there were only two, one on each side. So I had to source a whole other thing, which was, I think, 10, 15 bucks right. on eBay at the time. You can get the brackets still. You can get the harness. Uh, Not the lights much. But you can't find the lights, go figure. All right, so headlights, I'm in about 200 bucks already. You should and probably write that down. Yeah, we'll keep a note. Let's keep, keep a, a note, note to so can total at the very end to how much damage we've done. This is gonna be rough. Yeah. This is the episode that my wife was dreading. She was like, <laughs> I don't want to hear how much you All spent right, on so the headlights. Things. We'll do 200. Okay, let's go down. Let's kind of go kind of quick if we can. Mm -hmm. um, so headlights, 200. Um, ooh, let's talk about grills. The grills are expensive. And I, I have two. Yeah, you have the. I actually do. To be honest, though, I got really lucky with actually all of my a lot of my pieces because. Um, I got a bunch of my stuff from Larry mm -hmm. for working on this car, this trade kind of stuff. So I didn't have to pay too much money, uh, a ton. But for the most part, I'll do an estimate on here. Vento Grill, the three bar I have in my car now, those can sell for 100 to 350 all day long. It depends on the condition. Yeah, the four so, bar so called sport grill. Let's put it at 150. Grill. That's a pretty good. Well, just put how much you paid. I got mine, Larry. I got mine from Larry. Oh, so then no. Uh, I think I paid 150 what? shipped from um, Europe. So I'll put 150 as well, just so I can total up a total for the car. If someone's looking, if someone else is looking to do this, we'll right. do like our own. But so grill about 150. 150. The other one, the three bar, the four bar one, the one I had before, those can go about 120 or so. Depending if you, they're still two depending piece. on the condition. True. All right, let's go down to fog lights. Mine are. I have smoke ones from um, Hella. Authentic ones I got for I think sixty five dollars for the dummies and the turns. It's a good price because they're like two something on eBay. I got them, I got mine off eBay and Omar sent me the link mm -hmm. and he thought they were rats but they were real ones. Nice. I like I, I had a good score so I, I sent you that link. You, you sent me that's right you sent me the link. Yeah, he don't know about that. That's a good one too. I saw the box like that's a real box and then I opened up back all oh, hell I'm like nice perfect. Mines are I think fur F E R whatever brand that is. Uh, just the smoke turn signals and the smoke dummies. I think I paid 60 from eBay. Okay. Brand new. And then, as you know, we both have the same Kanye 3D shades. printed Kanye shades that I used to make. What were those like 60 bucks you had them? I mean, 60 bucks if somebody buying them, but to me, to us, it's like 20 bucks. So. Mm -hmm. I'm not even making them anymore, so don't ask me. All right, let's go down from there to bumpers. Well, let's do lips too. Lips are expensive. Oh. Lips are a big thing. So not? I have 
Somebody's every going. Vento lip, every OEM lip, the VR61, the deep one, and the shallow one. The VR61, I paid 150 for that. It's, mm. it's a rare lip expensive, so I paid 150 for that. The shallow lip, I paid 120 through you, the guy you got it from. So I have, that's almost $30 on lips so far. And then the shallow one can sell for like 50 to 60 bucks. Granted, that one came with the bumper I had, but still put a price on here. I got a rear lip at the house with splitter. That's a that, pricey combination. That combination was about... Like four. Probably about four. It's a price combination. All right, let's do front bumper. I can normally source those. I got my bumpers for 500 bucks. For both? From Christy, old Christian Older in Romania. Mm -hmm. I don't, you got yours from the same? Well, Larry got his from him. That one there was the second one that you got him the first time. Cause I remember he, you got with that oh, set. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then I sanded it down and made a smooth top. So how much did he pay before he got that? About 250 for a bumper. Okay. So about that. Bumper's about 500 bucks. You can get right now. All right, so before we move on off the front, so that's just the front section of the car. I'm at two, three, four, five, six, eight, <laughs> nearly, nearly a thousand dollars just in like the front headlights and bumper. That's not even including the, the bulbs inside there, the shark teeth on the bottom. Just looking at this number so far for the front bumper, this is, this is gonna hurt once we get farther down. Just don't. All right, so let's go through. Um, I don't have your fender, I have one, my vented fender, but I paid 40 bucks for that, so that's my biggest yeah, look at that. That's my biggest um, anything. At the time, I think I paid 150 for the fenders. All right, so side skirts. I only have one set. I have a set of OEM side skirts that I paid, I wanna say $90 for, and that was 2015, I think. So that's 90 for my skirts, which is a good price for OEM side skirts. But the guy just wanted them gone, so like, that's good for me. That's you have price. ABT, the um, ABT reps. So we went and got. We went and got. And you got a good deal on those, didn't you? You like, made 60 bucks. That's a good deal. 60 bucks on the side skirts. All right, so we, let's see, 90 for that. Let's go down. We have normal doors. We have normal mirrors. Mm -hmm. Back of the car, rear bumper. So Well, that's in that goes in for that 500 because $500 oh, okay. for the set shipped. So that's an awesome price. If you get that price now, I wouldn't pay more than that. If somebody wants to sell so, you two bumpers for more than that, they're bugging. True. For a Vento. GTI, 300. Yeah, they're all there. I wouldn't pay more than Ventos that. Ventos are hard to find. Ventos are more hard to find. Uh, let's do, so, uh, do taillights then. So I have... Tails. I have all clears. I mean, I have a lot of taillights, but we're just going to go with on the car. Um, I have all clears. I pay, I think, 110, and that was from eBay when they used to have them. They don't have them on there anymore. But that was a 110. I'm not exactly sure where I got my smoked set from. They used to be on eBay as well, if you got them from there. They used to be there. Was it eBay? They used to have all of them. They had that. They had this all smoked, smoked in red. They had the you crystal know in red. It was eBay. They used to have the 80 bucks. No more hookup from there. 80 bucks. eBay is oh, drying. Yeah. The well is dried up. Yeah. Let's put it this way. All right. uh, two years ago, you could pretty much buy everything from your car on eBay. Now, you just can't for whatever reason. Yeah, it sucks. Cars are getting old, man. Alright, uh, your, your license plate tub. License plate tub. I played 65 from Brian. Ryan or Brian? Brian with the turbo, big turbo 2.0. The Sway Silver one. No idea. Who that I, paid, I paid 65 bucks for my tub. I paid 90 from Jake with the red uh, Jetta. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's so old. My first year or so, I'll bring it See, I bought mine a few years after yours. Just show you the price difference and change. Well, I also bought it from, he was in the States as well. So it kind of kind of changed a little bit, but right. the price season fluctuates so much. Well, I have the spoiler on my car. Mm. That was a cool 370. Yep. Yep, that was one of those things. I was like, I, I, I was like, Oof. one of the things with these cars is, you really, it's a really, you, you got to pay to play. That's what you got to pay to play. If you want something and it pops up and you and you want it, you yes, suck yeah. it up and do it. Nowadays, you definitely have to grab it yeah. when you see it. Because when Otherwise, I found out this was still available, just, I was like, yo, I don't care what the price is. I want it. Right. Because he, I mean, he gave me a great deal on it, don't get me wrong. It's like it's literally like a one of one unicorn spoiler. Um, he's like, it's 300 bucks and he only did like 70 bucks for shipping, which isn't bad. No, it's not bad. For the size it was in the box store right there. Especially from Thailand. Yeah, and, I, and he literally got my house in six days. I was like, how did you do this? 
But I was like, madness, right? Uh huh. That's madness. That's madness. Six but days. I was like, you know what? Can't even get nothing from PayPal. PayPal. Yeah, six days. Send it. I want it. Don't let no one else touch it. It's mine. Like I said, it could be whatever. It could be the smallest part. But if it's something that you really, really want, nobody else is gonna have it or wherever. You never sure if it's gonna pop up ever again. Pay the money and yeah. get the part. Let's do um, paint. So the first time I the color of my car is now. Let's do that one. I'm not gonna go through all of them. I mm. my car. Um, the first time I painted my car. Overall was 1600 that included body work and the halo effect so 1600 for um, What's on the car now? I would say just do the one that Randy did the, the, the most one that Randy one. did the most yeah. Because like these prices are to us and it's gonna be a, a Kind of a reference for you guys if you wanting to do this you will find friends and people who will hook you up and give you right. videos It will happen, um, but if you're trying to go we're not gonna do prices just straight up It's like the cost price because that's a, that's super insane Well, if I tell you how much I paid to paint my whole car everybody's gonna Cringe and probably his phone is gonna blow up if you found where he is. <laughs> he only charged me 300 bucks to paint. But in his defense, we were there taping, right? Sanding, here's the big difference brought all the stuff. I bought all the materials, materials alone, 600 bucks. Yeah, let's be clear. So, when you say when somebody gives you a price, this is the big thing. Somebody says, Hey, I want to paint my car, and then you go, or you go, Hey, I want to paint my car, and then the body shop tells you 1500, 2000, 2500 dollars. It's a lot of work. It's hours and hours of prep. Materials aren't cheap. So you're expecting to get your whole car painted for $800? Never gonna happen. Well, Unless, they can do it, they just like, eh, man. Eh. Go to Mako and that's what you're gonna get. I took the time of having the car in the garage, stripping door panels, window seals, sanding, getting the car basically Hey, all that needs to be done is taped and sprayed. Yep. Every seal was removed. It was sanded to, you know, every inch of the car was sanded and prepped. So the painter doesn't have to do no work, which brings down the cost of labor, labor to you if you want to do it. So that's why I bought the car to Randy. It was in pieces. Hey, dude, here's the materials. All you have to do is tape it and paint. And we helped tape. Yeah. The car was there. We taped. We helped tape it up. We helped disassemble, paint. Assemble. He painted it. That's all I need you to do, Randy, because when I got the car home, I'll put it together. Yeah, we did. Yeah, Simple so. as that. So, in fact, the last time, let's say 900 bucks, and I gave him a $50 tip. But don't go to Randy and ask him for a $300 paint job. I'll kick right he's out. Gonna, you, he's going to ignore you. I'll kick right out. <laughs> right, and he's a big dude. Locked. <laughs> so. All right, that kind of covers our outside. So, I mean, but paint can easily cost you. Good, decent paint yeah. can cost you two, two, grand two grand and up. So that's a, a very light overview of the outside of our cars, which looking at this numbers here, that's close to three grand or so. Give or take. Yeah, probably close to that. Close to that. Give or take. We'll down do something something at the end. Granted, and then both of our like my getting my whole car done for six hundred bucks with body work for the stuff I got done. That was still cheap for what I got. And this price could be way higher, but this is for us. So let's move into suspension, suspension and wheels. wheels. Good call. Suspension. I have a $450 set that I bought used from Brock. Uh, CX Racing Coilovers, I bought them probably three, four years ago. No issues with them. They ride perfect. This car rides really nice. They ride Facts. absolutely perfect. Facts. And I see no reason to change them in, so far. Maybe if, hey, listen, if you guys want to donate to my PayPal, I'll put my PayPal right. info here. If everybody donates, Two three bucks. By the time this thing gets out, we can three six swap my car. We'll put we'll put I will I'll put air on the car to make you guys happy. But until then, the coilovers ride perfectly fine. Yeah. Now I'm not on that boat. My air costs nineteen hundred dollars, and it hurt a little bit. It did, but I saved up for a long time. That's so cheap. It's, it, I got a great deal through math, low, low lifestyle, super awesome. Got to work with, so I got a good deal with that. Um, but I saw I worked a lot. I've been I've been working since like high school. I mean, I worked a ton. Save of money, and it's still hard to do it. But at the time, my car, I was younger, stance here, it was super, super low, and I wanted to keep it low, but it became to the point where it was not very functional, and I'm not about having trash fenders and cracking oil pants and that. <laughs> so for me to keep a functional car, put people in, and drive every single day, that worked out for me. And it made the car very, very drivable, and I, Listen, it's a great this, investment. To this I day, it. I've had minor problems leaky valve here this and that but for the amount of time i had this system i mean i love it so it's a, it's a good value for what yeah. it offers 
So get me wrong. I would say so nineteen hundred dollars the original cost of that, and then plus my compressor refresh I did. I'm about twenty two hundred dollars. Which all is still done. cheap because there's that. All right, suspension done. Let's go to wheels. Wheels. Moving on to wheels. Bam! Zob is sitting right here. I put a lot of money into these things, but I love them. I'll never change them. I was getting new wheels, but I love this thing. But if we're talking about all the wheels I've had, I put a lot of money into wheels. But we'll just keep with the wheels that are currently that's just on the video. Park. Okay, 16s, three piece wheels, anywhere from 15 and up. Yeah. We'll see the guy I got about these wheels from, Tony, super awesome dude. I'll actually put his name right here. If you want to check him out, he imports wheels from Japan. So believe it or not, I got these wheels for $650. Now, nothing like this. <laughs> nothing <laughs> like this. They were way But up. 650 bucks, which is a bad for three piece wheels. I could have literally just had, I had Greg fix the barrel, so I was free, thankfully. Um, but I could have just put tires on and color day at that point. But I wanted the specs I wanted. So, so I'll put it down on 650 for the wheels. The lips. Let me just tell you. Which were, was that? Was that was another ordeal? Oh, almost. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. This dude that had my. Oh my god. That oh was god. Wow. That was another fight about that. I'm not gonna get my wheels back. For real. One well, my paces. So 650 for the wheels. I wanted these specs. No other 16 inch lip, 32 hole lip will fit these. I tried every every single lip known to man. Totally different. Does not fit these wheels. So I had to have custom lips made. Custom anything is stupid expensive. I paid $825 for four custom made lips. Granted, it, it hurt. But I love these wheels to death, and they're beautiful. The lips are beautiful. So we're about what was that? Sixteen. We're about sixteen hundred dollars or so in to the wheels, and I haven't assembled them yet. It's just lips, and I bought them. Still better than buying yep. full off custom wheels from like CCW. True. They want two fifty per lip. Yeah. So mine were that much. I think mine were one forty seven or so a lip. But for custom two and two and a half inch lips, yep. not bad. Um. So six fifty for the wheels, eight twenty five for the lips. I paid, I had a powder coated twice, the first one I had like the silver, so I had, first powder coat was 50, second powder coat was like 40, like 130 I want to say, um, but I love the color now. The number adds up fast, bro. Um, <laughs> I kept all my hardware thankfully, because this is all original OEM, it says arrow on each bolt, which is super sick, and I didn't want to lose those, so I literally hand polished every single one. Just my time alone on that should have cost a lot. Although <laughs> nobody will ever see that or notice that. I don't care, I love those bolts. <coughs> hand polish every single one. <laughs> see, there's the thing, like, <laughs> next. We do, we go that extra step. Somebody might be like, oh, yeah, nobody's ever gonna see that word arrow on the head of the bolts, but yeah. just knowing that that detail is there, it's, it adds up. And I think, so that's wheel tire hardware. Um, I think when I bought these tires, the Federal 595s is like 300 bucks, I want to say they are, mm. instead of four. So just for tire, wheels and tires, 650, 825, 51, 30, 300. So we're at about, I always say about 22 to 2300 or so, my math is not terrible, for these, which is a great idea. Right. Uh, the BBS Bugatti wheels, uh, 1100. This is a good deal for those wheels, and they're nice good wheels. Good deal, because... They're nice wheels. I haven't seen another set of 17s in the States. That's true. Small, the 15s, yeah, a couple of people have them, mm -hmm. but the 17s, I haven't seen another set. There's a few other sets I've seen in Europe, but it's a handful. I think yeah. I haven't seen 10, I haven't seen 10 cars with these wheels on. And also, real quick, while we're, we're here at this, this point in the video, numbers are getting pretty high, but just know we've had these cars for, I've had my car for seven years, you've had your car for how long? Six. Six? Huh? So it's not like we went out and in the course of a month we dropped 20 grand and it made it happen. This has been a long time coming. I bought the wheels. It was probably another maybe month, month and a half before the lips were got. Not sure. It was longer than that because my one face was held hostage in California for a while. That was a giant issue. But so it was over time. So before anyone thinks like we're just throwing money at these cars, this stuff has happened over a long period of time. We want to throw money at it, but can't. Because you have to do things like eat and pay a mortgage, <laughs> right? Car insurance and phone bills. All right, so outside is done roughly. Um, suspension's done. We're not. We're not going to get into. A we're not going to go with brakes. general maintenance because that's easily. That's a lot of money. That's, that's probably well over five grand with just maintenance with like bushings 
and sway bar and links and control arm. I'm gonna put the Mark II Rubeam on there because that's a, that's not necessarily a maintenance thing. So my oh, Mark II Rubeam, I pay I think I paid seventy bucks from Mark that one time, which is a very necessary thing. But yeah, seventy bucks for Mark II Rubeam. All right, so let's go into interior and then finish on engine and then we'll basically be done. Wrap. So you wanna start with this one? Interior. Okay, seats. I got my seats stitched, re well, reupholstered, and the seats shipped over for 12, 1200 bucks. That's a good deal. 1200 Which, if you guys know, getting, G getting Mark III Recaros from anywhere is going to cost you about a grand. Yeah, shipped. So seats, 1200 uh, Seat belts came from a Mark IV 20th anniversary. Um, the shifter, same thing, which is about 120 Dimple dash. Dimple, Dimple dash. dash, you can get 50 bucks at a junkyard. And then steering wheel, I have the Momo Wood one. I paid 150 for like six years ago. And, you have and I have the personal I got from Danny for 80 bucks. And the pedals. Oh, and the pedals I got for um, uh, Jersey. Yeah, and just know we're, we're covering like the main stuff in the interior. We're skipping a lot of things because like yeah, I'm not gonna go through everything. Like I've the pulled Euro out e breaker. Yeah, I've pulled out from my carpet to my headliner and everything in between and replaced. And there's a lot. All right, so that's all for you. I would probably say all in all, I probably have about sixteen hundred dollars in your in interior stuff with everything. Probably you're right about that. So mine, you have Mark III or Carl's. I actually have Mark II. Um, GTI or Carl front seats, which I paid. Because I'm smart. Two fifty for those ones. And the only fun fact, again, there's only two people in the Mark II club with Mark II cars. Yeah, me and Omar both have Mark II. Actually, the exact same. Jerome, seats. two. Jerome, we all have Mark. But Jerome has the power ones. Me uh, and Omar have the exact same seats. They're mm -hmm. both at Blue Velour before. And exact Rafa. same thing. And Rafa and Rafa. Yep, same thing. So yeah, I paid two fifty for my seats. I paid. 816 to have the front two reupholstered in leather. I took that price all the time. They're like, yeah, it seems like a lot. To just it do seems like a lot for two front seats, but man, this guy's work is so good. And if you want, yeah, he's done. You can have your seats come out looking like they're loose and saggy. I people see my seats. This guy they does look good. amazing work. Pay yeah. good money for upholstery because if you have saggy and loose stitching, like it, just it looks look terrible. So bad. So yeah, seats 250, upholstery 816. I paid triple, quad, almost quadruple what I paid. Um, <laughs> pedal set was like 70, the dead pedal was like 60, um, shift knob for the base piece was like 40 bucks. I pay, I'll do like a brief thing, I paid like, I think 15 through Danny for that top piece, give or take. Um, dimple dash was like 50 bucks for the junker, we went and pulled it that one time. Um, Which I'm real good at now, I can get, I can yeah, get we got, we got dash out and, and get one in in probably like an hour. Uh, I have leather puffy door cards because I didn't have those, those were all swapped in. Um, you can find those for 60, 70 bucks sometimes. It not depends, man. It depends. Now they're getting harder and harder to find. If you find a real good set, having them shipped is going to cost you. But if you find them at a junkyard, you get them for like 60, 70 bucks. Yeah. Steering wheel, the most steering wheel I have in the car now. I paid 130 at uh, Soho 2013. And it came with this steering wheel on the hub. Good deal. Great deal, actually. Definitely. Highway Stars, these are awesome. Um, well, it's harness bar. I paid 20 bucks for that bad boy. Love that thing. This is Climate this is one here. I want to add it. The Pink Floyd buttons in my dash. Oh, I paid 60 yeah. bucks for those three things. <laughs> you, but that was me, back in like 2014 when they were like really popular. To me, okay. those buttons are the biggest sham ever. Like, I don't care. I like them. I have they're it. just like I can just glue some crap on or paint it with a sharpie. You could, but I don't know. Everybody likes these things. I'm just like. I don't see That's it. back when the full set was like 120. And these people don't even know who Blink Floyd is. No, but I, I snagged a set until like, you know what, I'll snag a set. Right. So those are 60 bucks. Well, so is there anything like big in the car? Um, there's so many like, headliner. so many, oh, headliner. That was like, I paid for the fabric in myself. So I would say overall, a total, I was like 50 bucks in materials. Not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. So, but there's so many like little pieces and this and that. I'm going to do everything that would take forever. But like I said, probably somewhere around between the, I would say, Let's see, seats. It's probably close to two grand. Yeah, because like, just my price of my seats and the upholstery is a thousand. So yeah, I'm probably close to about fifteen to two grand in interior stuff, give or take. For all oh, the I'll throw formats. Formats for one ten. I think I paid one ten for those. Here's the thing. It, it's gonna cost you. So just remember, like this is just an overview. 
a guesstimation. If we were to really break down what each part costs, it'd probably be more. So we've done exterior suspension, wheels, and um, interior. Let's go to man. This thinking about all the stuff like I, I we worked on these cars. Just the hours of like I don't want to say like every maintenance out of the car. Maintenance, hours and hours of work. Like I also have a shaved bay, and uh, that can probably cost anybody yeah. from three to five thousand dollars if they if I were to take that car to the shop and have that done. So let's go over engine bay stuff. So like we both have partial shaved bays. So we did all the work ourselves. You guys watched the videos. We did all that stuff ourselves. If you would have paid to have someone do that, it's a lot more money. But we did all the work ourselves, so we saved a bunch on that. Um, but I just, the one thing I remember the most, when I bought that Bondo, oh, not the Bondo, that primer, the 2K primer, mm -hmm. it's like $27 a can. No, two of them bad boys. I'm like, but man. that's what it did when you, when you sprayed it. freaking sick. It did the job, though. I'm like, $50 in two cans. I'll put that in there. It happens. Listen, don't skimp on certain things because you'll have less of a headache in the future. I would say... For my engine bay, but to, just for getting it material and getting the engine sprayed, like overall about a thousand, on a, on a low end, I'd say about a thousand dollars. Just getting, between buying material to paint it, having it sprayed, the materials to sand it, uh, seal stuff up, this and that, about a thousand dollars on a low end. But a thousand to like twelve hundred dollars with us doing it. Mm. They're not about, that's not even the engine, that's just the bay itself. Yeah. So I just remember it's here, just, so I paid 450 for my swap. Um, oh, I didn't add, well, 450 for the swap, 960 for the work that didn't end up right, but still paid it as of right now, which we'll come back, but. Um, that was paid there, 500 or so, and extra parts that I bought, throwing parts on my car that weren't needed. Mm -hmm. And then I would say about, 700 or so when I bought all the new parts when I bought everything like the all the stuff to Assemble so that's four fifteen about twenty eight hundred or so Give or take into now a lot of this stuff you say that, right that's a lot of money But we've also sold the extra parts. Yeah to pay for this stuff. It's not like we're just I got paid and I'm dumping my whole pay. Bam! And no. buying rent. This is like, it takes weeks to save up, days to wait, save up, even months, years probably, depending on what you're waiting for. Yeah. And in the meantime, you go to the junkyard, you'll find some parts that you can sell to somebody in yeah. Europe for 150 bucks, but it only costs you 20 bucks. So you'll sell and you'll have money to pay for something that you really want. So it's not like, Completely yeah. dumping money into a car and friends, you can make money on parts and friends help you friends took you out this and that but still even all the everything I've done about Probably just shy of three grand into that engine that doesn't run But listen could have 3.2 swapped it could have for about but the same price. I replaced every single thing and that it was a brand new engine not a little bit messed yeah, up but It was a brand new engine. That's okay. All things will be handled. Don't talk about it. All things will be handled I've still been. I don't know. You're more than better than me because I. So. I'm not gonna say that. Relax. So chill. Dude, I, a lot of people would have already. It would have already turned to level yeah. ten already. Well, I, I. The way I see it, and we'll just briefly touch on this. The way I see it is, I know that like, the best way to handle this is like, to be cool, bro. I'm trying to like handle it in the best way possible because. As much as I want to just flip out and just roast everything possible, that doesn't really help anything. It just causes a big fire, and there's just and there's no need for. I just want I I want to ever, I just want it done. I just want it handled properly. I wanted the car just to run. I wanted to skip all of this in the first place. I didn't want to do any of this, but I was pushed to this point. And I'm not gonna be like walk away. And I'm out all this money, and yeah, I have no, no car that runs. No way. So I have to do what I have to do. Um, but I'm still gonna do it in a professional, respectful way because. Yes, I could lose my mind, roast the entire place to the ground, and just flip out about it, but then again, nothing's getting done. That's coming later, Nothing's when it's settled. <laughs> so, the best way to handle it like this, respectfully, do it the professional way, that way, when if you it comes to court, like mine will be coming to, everything is, okay, respectful, I, I'm just here because I need what I paid for to get done, it didn't get done, I need that back. That's it. And you can prove that 
everything, I can prove all my stuff, and I've been very like nice, I've been relaxed about it, nothing's been blown out of the water, there's no slander, none of that stuff, everything has been done Not basically. Even so much as the name of the shop has been said on your vlogs. Exactly. And I went back to the old videos where it was tagged in there because I was before, mm -hmm. deleted all that there. Wow. We still spoke on it in the video, but I've never told anyone to say anything about anything. Everything's right. been hundred percent. So, so only if you know that you know. If you know, you know. But even then, I've told no one to do anything. No one needs to get involved besides me in the shop. It's just, it is what it is. Yeah, this is one of those things. So, we've gone over basically everything in a loose sense. Granted, we're not putting into account, actually, put into account how much to pay for the car. That's an important thing. I paid 1700 bucks for my car. It was supposed to be 1750 When to open the glove box, handle broke. Snip, clean off. <laughs> you can have 50 bucks back. I was like, you got it, buddy. <laughs> And actually, it's funny. Nice. He gave me a little flathead, which is still in the car to this day, that I used to open it. Never fixed it. One of the best things ever. But yeah, seventeen hundred bucks. We're gonna tie this up real quick. Um, this number, I, I just guesstimate, it's about five to ten thousand dollars. I would say maybe, maybe less than that, but maybe more. Short, I would say, because we're not putting into account. Like, well, you gotta pay for the car, insurance and that kind of stuff, or fuel. We're not putting into account just normal maintenance stuff. I had a thousand dollar bill come in a month after I got my car because the time belt shredded and bent every valve in the head mm -hmm. and replaced that. So, I mean, I'm not counting that. I'm not counting the countless amount of wheels I've had or the previous seats or the previous this, previous that. We're just going by based on what's in the car right now. As the car sits, how much roughly would it cost you to do what we did? Now, if you've had a car for seven plus years like I have and spent money to have parts sitting all over the place and kind of all that stuff, there's a lot. There's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff and it would hurt. So this number might actually not be too, too bad because this is just what's currently on the car. Well, you got, you got a number so far? 50 grand. 50 grand? What? It'll cost you $50,000 ah. to buy a, an old European Econobox car. <laughs> and turn it into something that you have right. pride driving down the road. It's gonna cost you 50 grand. It didn't cost me 50 grand, it's gonna cost you 50,000. Okay, we skip one thing, we skip the exhaust. While we're in the engine, let's do exhaust rig. My exhaust. exhaust. My, my current setup, the muffler, well, I just had the muffler exhaust, but the whole thing was about 300, because it's just, I went to Andy's, well, the most, about $300 for the exhaust, and I got my Remus tips for free because Omar is a G. I'm gonna put free on here too. Cost free. Um, I had a custom downpipe made. I think that was 60 or 80 bucks years ago from Andy's. Uh, the mid pipe I bought from Jason, I think for 60 or 80 bucks, which is a Magnaflow. The rear section, which is now just straight pipe, so it didn't cost me anything. If you see my last video, you see what I went through just just trying to get exhaust tips made because nobody in Kissimmee wants to do any work right? for a decent price. So, so we're going to pause for just a second, tally this up, and then give you a total of about where we're at roughly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I finished tallying up my numbers. And like I said, before we tell you this number, keep in mind, we just grazed over the surface. Like, this is just some of the stuff in the car right now. Like not including like carpet, my rear seats, um, all the dash pieces, the chrome knobs I found, the gauge cluster, chrome the chrome handles. handles. There's, like I said, this number is probably not even maintenance isn't even yeah. included in that number. So here, I say this number right now is what we have on the cars right now, um, lightly. Yeah. If we would have done everything from day one till now, it's probably about twice that. Easily. Probably, yeah, probably about. It could be twice that. Probably about twice this number here. If we did everything on the car currently, this number is probably five to ten thousand dollars short. This isn't a bragging thing. We're not trying to flex it's on sad, nobody. Actually. Yeah, we're not trying to flex <laughs> on nobody. Like, this is nothing to flex Look how much money we spend on these money. cars, but like this is just this is the reality. If you want a car that's similar to our cars, this is the reality. So you wanna you wanna go first? Oh, yeah. So everything we just talked about, this is that number here. Alright, everything we talked about from the headlights to the price of the car included, just skimming, it's probably about eighty one hundred. Give or take. I didn't include 
every breakdown like how Christian did because I didn't I put a to, few more things in heated, yeah. I didn't have to put like all this extra stuff for the motor because I just didn't put that on yeah, the list. That caught that that made my never go. I could I could real quick. easily go up on that because the head alone when I bought it from the guy in Jacksonville was nine hundred dollars. And I didn't even throw that in there because it's not on a car right now. Yeah. And I sold it to you for like half, which mm -hmm. not a big deal. So 8100 pretty much just for majority of the parts. That doesn't include every other part and what I've spent on the car. Like, I'm not gonna tell you that the car has about $300 worth of sound ending in it. If I added another five to 6,000 with maintenance, overall maintenance for the car, what I put into the motor, uh, alternator starter which has all been purchased brand new mm -hmm. um, all that other stuff with maintenance and shaving the bay and all that it's right around probably like 15 yeah that's without going in depth like interior and all that stuff yeah. if I just ballparked everything I probably have about 15 grand into that car now as it sits right now as it sits yeah. right now overall of what I always was in the car that I, I have for the car and everything it'll be more than that 20k plus easy <sighs> So adjust the stuff that I listed off. That was briefly. I, I added a That's lot. Rough. I added more than he added on my list here because I was thinking about it. But I skipped so much stuff. So just what I added up came out to fifteen thousand four hundred and sixty-six dollars. Fifteen thousand. I said, and this number is roughly five to. Well, I'll say everything in the car right now. This is about five grand. I would say short, give or take. Everything from the car from start to now, this is about half. ten, maybe a little bit more. It's half. Yeah, it's about Easily thirty thousand or so, roughly. But like I said, those are things that you've taken off the car, sold. Mm -hmm. So this is like I so take fifteen grand. There you go. Right. It's like I bought some stuff here. I work, 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 make some money. Sell some stuff here. It goes back and forth. Yeah. So roughly, so roughly as it sits right now, if you wanted to build. The Mark 3s that we have, very similar build, almost identical. It's in a, I would say about 15 grand. It'll cost you about 15 to 20 thousand dollars to build, take a Mark 3 that's bone stock that needs paint and, and make a, a show car. Show car. And even then, though, our cars are show cars, but they're they're they could be so much more. Like if we went like SEMA status, then you're talking like 50, 60 grand into this car. Yeah, but who's doing that? Kyle's doing there's, it. there's no, well, <laughs> some people are doing that. I love Kyle's car. I was talking about Kyle's car because Kyle, our numbers pale. Pale to Kyle. I think he has that in the motor. More than likely. That car is, I love it. I can't get enough of that. That car is gorgeous. And like that, none of this is like, we spent more than you or that, none of that's like that. This is just a realistic, the facts, the numbers right here. If you want to do this, you have this to is, pay to play. This is where you'll see online when somebody says, hey, I'm selling my Mark III and they want $18,000. That's because they know they have invested 30 or 40. I won't ever get back my time. I searched for three and a half years, I say, for a, that spoiler. I mean, or like that spoiler. Like time, wait, time, everything. Like, the hard thing about these cars is people want, even if you have all the money in the world, you still may not get what you want. Just, just don't, either people don't want to sell it, or you can't find it, or it's been destroyed and there's no more left. So <laughs> okay. it's hard. Also, yeah, about $15,000 to build a show come mark three and it's not over a week or a month it takes you a good amount of time unless you're stolen money out of funny thing can. i don't even consider my car a show car i take it to shows every once in a while the way things are going right now if something happens to the car you lose it you know what i mean that's my biggest fear like if that car got hit, I, I, you're you're you're, you're so well that's it gone that's it so so overall i think we kept this video a little bit shorter than the last one this was fun this is it's an eye opener Definitely an eye opener. Like, this, this is a, this is this is the low estimate number. Also, if you want my car, it is for sale ten thousand dollars or trade for an air cooled bus. If you want my car, it's not for sale. Don't ask me. You can't have it. It will run again. It's one of Germany. So yeah, it's not. Those aren't for sale either. It'll never be for sale. Those are just, those, yeah. Don't be for sale. I have a. They're for, no, not be for sale. I'll have those will be on a shrine somewhere as well. Those will never be for sale. I don't know. There's too much time invested into that thing. Like I said, the only way that car is ever going to go out is totaled or burns to the ground. That's it. There's like, too much lucky time. the second one didn't happen with that guy. Yeah, working yeah. You know, we're cheating death. It's fine. But listen, we're not going to keep it any much longer. We're rambling. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Yep. 
and uh, we will see you on the next episode. Don't forget, we have an episode of the day. If you have any more topics you want us to talk about, we've covered, what was the last podcast? This was a long video or something, wasn't it? I don't remember what Just, it was. We, it was. Last one was a Q&A. Q&A, Q &A, uh, last an hour, two e minutes. DM us questions, email us, uh, If there's Instagram more stuff. stuff on car prices you want to hear us talk about, we, we might have missed. Just let us know. Let us know. If you have more topics for next video or podcast, let us know. We'll do more stuff. Yeah, this is fun. If you enjoyed something, leave a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to his channel, uh, my channel as well. All links will be below. Don't forget, be there for every single day. We'll see you guys next time. I'm still In the away. garage. But there's no table here. I can do this now. Ha ha!